My name is Jason Reynolds from Brooklyn, New York, and I chose Black Boy by Richard Wright because it actually was the first novel that I ever read cover to cover when I was 17 years old. One winter morning in the long ago, four-year-old days of my life, I found myself standing before a fireplace, warming my hands over a mound of glowing coals, listening to the wind whistle past the house outside. All morning, my mother had been scolding me, telling me to keep still, warning me that I must make no noise, and I was angry, fretful, and impatient. In the next room, Granny lay ill and under the day and night care of a doctor, and I knew that I would be punished if I did not obey. I crossed restlessly to the window and pushed back the long fluffy white curtains, which I had been forbidden to touch, and looked yearningly out into the empty street. I was dreaming of running and playing and shouting, but the vivid image of Granny's old, white, wrinkled, grim face framed by a halo of tumbling black hair lying upon a huge feather pillow made me afraid. The house was quiet. Behind me, my brother, a year younger than I, was playing placidly upon the floor with a toy. A bird wheeled past the window, and I greeted it with a glad shout. You better hush, my brother said. You shut up, I said. My mother stepped briskly into the room and closed the door behind her. She came to me and shook her finger in my face. You stop that yelling, you hear? She whispered. You know Granny's sick, and you better keep quiet. I hung my head and sulked. She left, and I ached with boredom. I told you so, my brother gloated. You shut up, I told him again. I wandered listlessly about the room, trying to think of something to do, dreading the return of my mother, resentful of being neglected. The room held nothing of interest except the fire, and finally I stood before the shimmering embers, fascinated by the quivering coals. An idea of a new kind of game grew and took root in my mind. Why not throw something into the fire and watch it burn? I looked about. There was only my picture book, and my mother would beat me if I burned that. Then what? I hunted around until I saw the broom leaning in the closet. That's it. Who would bother about a few straws if I burned them? I pulled out the broom and tore out a batch of straws and tossed them into the fire and watched them smoke, turn black blaze, and finally become white wisps of ghosts that vanished. Burning straws was a teasing kind of fun, and I took more of them from the broom and cast them into the fire. My brother came to my side, his eyes drawn by the blazing straws.